Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity. And, you know, this is why you can't faint because the mercy that we received, where we was dead and out, didn't know who we was. You know, um, calling ourselves all the bywords and the proverbs that our oppressor put on us. You know, he put the bottle to our lips and made us drunk off of the philosophies of what he wanted us to know. You know, and this is why we can't faint not. Because a lot of people don't take this truth for granted. Salakia. A lot of people take this truth for granted. And um, as you see over the years, people fell out. You know, as the scripture says, they heard the truth, but it wasn't mingled with faith, which that is a gift also. You know, um, so you got to understand the magnitude of what you're in and what the Lord done for us, because the Lord send down his only begotten son to become sin for us that through him we may be righteous in him so he gave us a chance to still be able to give a sacrifice in our defiled state that's why you can't faint not even though it gets to that point you know um, I've been to that point plenty of times. I said, Lord, take me now. I'd rather be with you. But since we're so close at the end, you know, we just got to pray for strength to see the downfall of our enemy. Because that's what we all, that's really in this thing in true sincerity. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Shalom to the Akwaf, the sisters that's in this thing in true sincerity, too. But the ones that's in this truth for real, we want to see this place fall. We want to be risen up to our you know, status that we supposed to be, but that's the promise, you know, but continuing on, it say, but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the most high. And you know, you got a lot of men that came in to this truth and still act like a nigga. So they ain't put the things away of dishonesty, dishonesty and craftiness. And you got a lot of false prophets out here that's handling the word deceitfully. But the Lord is really making a separation, a distinct, um, he's distinguishing who is the, really the man of the Lord. You know, and GMS, of course, stands the test of time because you got other prophets that's not even talking about Jacob's trouble. They say that it's gay and it's fake and things like that. You got other prophets not even talking about Babylon, the great going to be destroyed. They call in the, the MOTB, Revelation 13 and 16, a philosophy, white women, Christianity. They even said Solomon had the mark. Come on, man. That technology won't even out by then. So anyways, um, you know, so when you come into this truth, you're supposed to be, you know, a new creature. Behold, all things are made new. You know, this word is what keeps us, you know, on the right path, meditating, you know, the day of atonement coming up in a few hours. So... You know, time to afflict our soul and pray for the strength to get through it. So, you know, this truth as the first scripture, you know, this is the reason why we faint not is because it's a beautiful thing that I'm the kind of person that I analyze things. I've always been a person that's observant. And before I even came into the truth, I had that spirit. So 
When I used to walk into the club or a party, I always watch my surroundings. So now, even more in the truth, as I say in Ephesians 5 and 15, you know, being circumspect because the time are evil. You know, so now it's enhanced while I'm in the truth. So when I talk to people, you know, about the truth and I realize how gone they are, how the Lord really shut their eyes and ears and gave them a heart, a stubborn heart, man. He hardened their heart that they couldn't hear this truth or understand it. So that's why it's like every time, see, when we see, I'm speaking of myself. When I talk to people like that, it makes me praise the Lord even more because I thank him for giving me a chance at salvation, man. You know, many are called, few are chosen. That's why he said those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. But right now, I'm praising the Lord while I still got this knowledge and he's working with me, you know. And it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And that's why, you know, when you talk to people, you know, as, uh, as the scripture says in Job 12 and 16, the deceived and the deceivers are his, you know, so the deceivers and the deceived are his and the deceivers is the ones that's making the people deceived. So. The Lord plays both sides. And this is why the truth is so beautiful, because you can't give yourself this. This have to be sent from on high. And that's why you can't even get mad either when people talk shit about you and call you crazy because they the ones that's lost. You know, Yahweh Shah said that, you know, the truth shall make you free. And that's and, and that's very true. See, right now we're spiritually and mentally free, which is going to lead to physically being free, you know, because the captives hasten to be loose, as I say in Isaiah 51 and 14, you know, so it's a lot of lost souls out here and we're not lost, but we used to be lost. So that's why we can't faint not. And it say, in whom the God of this world have, the, have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Who is the God of this world? Esau, Edom. And Satan is their God. And this is Satan's offspring. All right? So you got to understand how we are the Lord's children. Satan got children too. So that the same spirit of Satan is in these people that's running the world. Which reminds me of the scripture Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to them who take counsel but not in me. Who have a covering but not of my spirit. But that they can, you know, continue to trust in Pharaoh and add sin to sin. Because, you know, the, the bullshit in this world. You know what I'm saying? Our people love it. Being able to go off and do whatever you want. Do as thou wilt. You know, because you got to understand all these idols... They all associated with Satan and, and really what it comes down to is do what you want to do. Do whatever feels good to you. So all these different names of God say it's Satan. It's that simple. It's God and Satan. Guess what? Satan worked for the most high. The deceive and the deceivers are his. All right. But they they trust in Esau. They trust in Satan. And some don't even know it because they actually believe you know in jesus sweet jesus christianity things like that some people believe in allah you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of it's a lot of gods but they all go back to satan man the adversary the most high you contrary to the most high's ways so it said, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. All right? Because guess what? We used to be the ones that was serving other things, idols, Christianity, maybe even Muslim. I would honestly say, I don't really believe Muslims converted into the truth, man. Muslims is the most stubborn, lost people I know. Like Christianity, they, they they second on the list, but you know, I used to be a Christian and look where I'm at now. But that's just me speaking as a man. But anyways, so we all used to walk, you know, 
in darkness, but the Lord brought us into the marvelous light, man. So we can't faint not. That's what this, this video is about. Understanding what you are part of and understanding that this is not a small thing and then recognizing the mercy that he uh, bestowed upon us because feigning is stupid. That's why Galatians 6 and 9 it said, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So, you know, when you being good, when you being good, you know, it, it seems like it's not benefiting you. You know, you're not, you're being disciplined. You're practicing abstinence, salakia, abstinence. All right. So you mortifying your members, trying to walk into the spirit, trying to walk in the spirit the best of your ability, you know. So it's very, very, you know, stressful because this flesh want to live and want to chill. But you got things to do. You got a job to do. All right. And. For we preach not ourselves, but Hamashiach. Yahweh Shah the Lord and ourselves, your servants for Yahweh Shah's sake, because we've been bought with a price. We've been bought with a price. Be ye not servants of men. As the say in 1 Corinthians 7 and 23, you know, you got to understand that your life is not your own anymore. Your life is not your own. Because if you expect a reward at the end, then you got to understand that you're living for a cause to get that reward. And you can't faint not. You know, the flesh and the wicked ass heart that we have, because that was ordained from when Adam first um, transgressed through, um, through Eve. So he appointed death into us. So now we got a wicked heart, as the saying, um, Jeremiah 17 and 9. Had to think about it. Jeremiah 17 and 9, it said that our heart is desperately wicked and deceitful. Who can know it? You know, so sometimes you get in your feelings, but I mean, this is unfair. This is some bullshit, you know, things like that. But it's a reward at the end. If you got your mind and your eyes, that's why the scripture said, uh, make sure your eye is single. But once you got your eye on the prize, then it becomes easier because it's like, wait a minute. This is temporary, man. This is temporary, you know, and that should give you joy of heart. And to say for the most high who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, he have shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of the most high in the face of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. So bringing us out of that dark state into the light, which is this knowledge which is actually guiding us into salvation. You got to understand this is why you can't faint because you could have been just like everybody else that you rebuke. You could have stayed in that, in that state that you was in before you knew the truth. So all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it's the last scripture, but we have this a treasure in this earthen vessel, that the excellency of the power may be of the most high, not of us. So this is why, you know, that's a very deep scripture right here. Because, you know, the scripture talks about how we're going to be changed in a blink of an eye. So that's when everything is going to be over with. All the sorrow going to be passed. All the pain going to be passed. All the crying going to be passed. We're going to be perfect, everlasting joy from there on out. But since we in this earthen vessel which we are still able to sin. We're still able to do wickedness. We're still able to think wickedness. All right. But through our preaching, this gives the most high glorified. Because you got to understand. So imagine if we was perfect and we out here preaching, we able to just, which that time is going to come. But we just able, we see a crippled person. And then boom, 
We say, get up and walk, and then he walk. See, our people is too carnal, so they'll give us the glory instead of the most high. They would give, you know, um, they wouldn't even get the most high credit. They'll just be so stuck into the person. Hey, that brother right there, he made a blind man see. He made a crippled man walk. All right? So that's why he said, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us. All right. That's why in uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 26, he said, not many mighty, not many noble are called because he want the word to engraft you in. All right. He want the word to engraft you in. He wants to be glorified and, and by using the lowly to confound the wise men that came from the hood, men who ain't graduate, but now got the Holy Spirit. That's beautiful, man. The Lord, that's how you be glorified when you take something low and build them up. When you take somebody that you wouldn't even think, as the scripture says, um, a prophet is not honoring their own country. Because guess what? People grew up with you. People probably, you know, did a whole bunch of wickedness with you before the Lord had mercy upon you. So now, you know. You you are a low state in this society. Don't ever think that you somebody. So the Lord is glorified through you because he picked the lowly of the low, a man who don't have no type of status in this world. Everybody look at us like we just some some niggas or a, a Latino or a Native American that don't know nothing. We just yelling. But now the Lord is going to be glorified. All right. So imagine that. So we're able to give a sacrifice in our defiled state. To the most high, which he is proud of. And Lord willing, if we endure to the end, we're going to reap. All right. So we can't faint not no matter what comes before us. Thought this video will be edifying. So all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and all the sincere believers. Shalom.